Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. I have a question for all of you uh, knowledgeable folks out there. Does window tint get darker over time? You know, I've got window tint on my Toyota Tacoma. We're going to go out and take a look at it closer in a second. But I swear it's getting darker. Now, specs-wise, I started out with just your basic film. It's not the ceramic, nothing special. Uh, it's the 3M version. And it's supposed to be 20%. I wanted to try to match it up with the rear windows, which I think I did. If you guys can see it way back there, uh, I think it matches pretty good. But I've been looking at it recently, and if you look at it out there, it looks pretty darn dark. I mean, you really can't see into it. Now, I know it's kind of one of those overcast, crappy days out here, and that tends to make window tent look even darker, other than bright sun in the right spot. But as we get closer, I mean, first of all, I think the match is pretty good. I think it matches pretty well. And now, given the change in our uh, angle here, I can see the steering wheel and the uh, phone holder inside. So I can see inside the truck, as well as seeing the back seats here on this side. But when you get up close, of course, you've got your reflection right now. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I'll know when I play back the video, but... You can see pretty well in there. I don't think there's any issue. Oh, and one thing I want to mention, these little mirrors I put on the side, only because I happen to be standing here, this is awesome. It is one of the cheapest, best mods you can add. The only problem is, now I need to add one to the other side because when I pull up, like against where I am right now, I can't see the edge of the truck. So I'm constantly brushing these plants. Uh, not that I park out here all the time, but when I do, I'd like to be able to see where I'm going. Now, looking in the front of the truck, I can see through the front of the truck. I can see the steering wheel, I can see the phone holders, of course the grab handles you can see there, and then even out the back window uh, down towards the rear area. Now, one other thing I kind of want to compare it to is the Gladiator. It's got the same tent on it, it's 20%, and I think when you look at it, um, again, it depends on the angle and where you're standing, but you can see a little bit more inside this one, uh, particularly here in the front. Uh, you can see the steering wheel. And again, I don't know what you guys, you might just be looking at nothing right now, but you can see the steering wheel and some of the details and things in the front. Of course, the rear window is dirty, so that's probably all you're seeing. But in comparing it from uh, about this distance, I'm about halfway in between each truck. There's what the Gladiator looks like, and there's what the Tacoma looks like. Uh, and I think it's pretty equal. Now, a couple of things that I think may affect it. Number one, I have a gray interior. Now, it's not black like the Gladiator is, but it is gray. And, of course, that's going to make it a little bit darker, a little bit, inside the truck. I've also got the visors on. These are going to cut down a little bit of light that's going to penetrate because of the angle of the sun coming down and hitting in this area. I really don't think it's anything significant at all. Of course, I did just put the the roof rack on the top. That has nothing to do with anything. And then the sport bar. Now, if anything, the sport bar might cut off some of the light uh, because it's black. And it is across the back section here. So it's possible that I don't get as much light getting into the truck although I would think it is minimal. I would think the effect is probably nil, probably nothing. Uh, the lift, well, of course, that makes absolutely no difference. But I was just thinking, you know, I'll tell you a story. I was out here the other day. I was sitting in the truck doing something. I think probably some kind of a video or something. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but somebody pulled up and uh, pulled up right beside me. And I had the windows up. I waved, you know, and they didn't do anything. And I thought, well, okay, maybe they just didn't see me wave. I don't know. But uh, then they backed up. And I thought, okay, uh, maybe they forgot something. I don't know. So they backed up, and then they went ahead and proceeded. And about a minute later, something like that, I got a phone call uh, from the same person, right? And they're telling me, or asked me, if I knew that my lights were on. 
my parking lights, maybe even the headlights, I probably the headlights too, I'm not sure, but lights were on. And I said, well, yeah, I'm sitting in the truck. <laughs> and they didn't see me sitting in the truck. I just thought that was pretty funny that uh, I'm glad they called because, you know, I could have gone in the house and left the lights on. Uh, way back, about 300 years ago, uh, I actually went into my apartment, this is way back, and uh, I left the lights on in a Camaro. Came out to go somewhere later on and had to call somebody to come and jump me because I had drained the battery. So I am very thankful that they let me know. But the other thing is, is they were sitting in front of me. Now they were in a car, pretty low car, and uh, couldn't see through the windshield either. That might have just been the angle. You know, it always depends on the angles, right? I mean, if you're sitting lower and you're looking up, maybe they just couldn't see into the truck. I don't know. Anyway, I just, uh, I was wondering, and I'm curious if anybody else out there or anybody knows, uh, do the, does tint get darker over time? I don't believe that it does. If anything, I would expect it to actually lighten up a bit. You ever seen any of those bad tent jobs where after a while the tent kind of starts to turn yellow, maybe even purple? That is the nastiest thing. Just does not look good at all. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I would be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about right now, mods on stuff on the Mercedes-Benz. It is a C300, by the way. And Rob Motive JT, all about mods and stuff on the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here, too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Oh,